welcome to playing with junk. This time I have the HB Z800 workstation and the Z800 was the first Z workstation from HP and it came out in 2009. It may not look like much but uh, this is the result when engineers don't have to spare any expenses so this was the first of the series and they did everything they could. Let's see inside. As in the modern car you don't see much except a lot of plastic covers. Well let's first have a look on this cover here. It's one sheet of aluminium. It's about two millimeters thick and it has an embossed HP logo and it has some information about the system and the memory configuration printed on it and it has a large mechanical uh, lever here that holds the cover in place and if we look on the first plastic cover here you see it is hinged here you can hook it out and it even has a little bit of metal on it to make it more stable and we see two CPUs and two additional fans for the memories then there is another cover here that closes the gap to the PCI cards. It's an NVIDIA Quadro 2000, so that's original equipment. The rest of the PCI slot is empty. And there's also a big heatsink for the voltage regulator on board. The CPU voltage reg Then here is the first funny detail. If you don't need this PCI power plugs, you have a place to store them right here so they don't fly around and probably short so, uh, somewhere on metal parts. So that's pretty clever. But we are not finished on covers. There is another cover with two fans integrated that cover the memory. And also here you don't have to unplug any wires, it unplugs itself because it has the plug integrated in the cover. And there is room for memory, it has 12 memory slots, plenty slots for a lot of memory. And as I said, two CPUs. You may also notice that there are almost no cables are visible. There are a few cables here on the bottom. That's mostly, I think that's uh, USB. That's the one, two, three, four uh, drive cables for the SATA drives or SAS drives. We have a lot more SAS buses here that are not used. The blue one is probably the CD-ROM, yes, I think so. Yes, that's the CD-ROM. And we have four more for, well, system drives. And the system drives are here in these neat little drawers. They are always in the machine, so you always have four drawers. If you fill them, it's your decision, or if you leave them empty. And if you have a hard drive, like this one, that's the only drive in this system here. It just slides into this drawer. You don't even need any screws because these bolts here go into the holes of the, uh, of the hard drive. And then you simply slide it in and there is a connector on the back plane for the drive. And that's it. So to install a drive 
is physically very simple. You install it in the frame, frame, slide it in, and that's it. They are already connected. Um, for example, this power cable here comes down and disappears here under the board. And the other power plug of the board is here and also there is no visible cable because the back side has two layers. So one sheet is the one you see and the other sheet is a, a cover that is identical to the side cover here and all the cables run between the two covers. Another interesting detail is the power supply which is here and that thing is huge. It has its own two uh, fans here on the front. It has a very specific form factor and it just slides in and connects to the connectors here. And mains connector is here that sticks out on the back side and all the low voltage connectors are here with no visible cables again here is some ah, speaker okay it has a speaker and the rest is air intake grill here air goes through and hot air blows out at the end it also has two stable hand uh, grips here, so you can move the entire machine around without hurting your fingers or whatever. Another interesting shape of plastic can be found here. This is to deflect the hot air from the first CPU around the second CPU and the second CPU gets its air. Where is the other cover? The second CPU gets fresh air through this channel here, which goes in that and you see there is an extra channel that goes over CPU 1 goes down here on CPU 2 so CPU 2 gets a lot of cool air while the hot air from CPU 1 is deflected by the other uh, cover but there is still more for example if you want to install a CD-ROM drive or a DVD drive you simply lift that lever, slide the old drive out and you don't need any screws, nothing. You just slide it in, the new drive, and it locks in place with this mechanism here. But there is still more, for example, The empty slot here is not empty because it is used to store unused cables. So that's why it has this recess here to feed the cable in and there is like a tray. Oops, it's too big for my camera. It's like a tray you can use for your hidden stash or just for the unused cables. It's just a bit difficult to get it in again. No, it works. Cluck. Nice. Not just a front panel, it's a front drawer. But there is still more luxury. We have two fans on the back, 
We have two fans here to cool the disk drives. We have two CPU fans for two CPUs of course and we have two memory fans to keep the memory cool and the power supply which is missing at the moment has also two fans so we have two, four, six, eight, ten fans. Did I miss one? No, I think that's it. And still this machine is very quiet. It doesn't make a lot of noise even on the full load. Well, because so many fans pump a lot of air and they don't have to spin at high speeds. And there is still more stuff. We have these fingers here on the PCI cover. And these fingers are used to press down on large PCI cards. Well, I think we can see that. So when I close this cover, these fingers push down on each slot. If there is a card high enough, to be pushed and that's also something that other manufacturers are solving in another way okay that's it let's power it up before I power it up let's look how many connectors we have outside of this box we have three uh, USB 2 connectors, USB 3 was not a thing then, we have a fire wire, I don't know if it's fire wire 400 or 800, we have headphone, microphone, power button and that's more or less everything on the front panel. On the rear it looks like a normal PC, we have our graphics card here, then the rest of the PCI slot is empty. We also have microphone, speaker, line in. We have one Ethernet connector. It's a normal network connector. And we have this ASF connector. That's some kind of a uh, integrated management uh, processor. Then we have six USB connectors, that is quite generous. We still have the PS2 connectors. Yeah, it's 2009, so they are still a thing. And we have a serial connector, that's something you don't find on modern machines, except you have a USB converter. I just pressed F10 for the setup so you can see how that looks. It more or less looks like a standard PC. And here it is, set that menu, very simple, no graphics. Everything is accessible with the arrow keys. We have some storage. Mm, that's not, so, not interesting. What is interesting is, uh, for example, no, not that. Where did I find that? Ah, here, BIOS power on. That's a funny feature. You have a timer. You have all the weekdays, Sunday to Saturday. And you can set that enable or maybe not. Ah, oh, here. With the left and right arrows we can enable that. So let's say you want to start your workstation automatically on Wednesday at 14.30. No. I'm 14. Ah, okay. No. I have to do that with 
with the arrow keys, ok, F10, accept, and now the timer is set and your machine will power on automatically on Wednesday 1430. And maybe you can also hear how quiet this machine is. All you hear at the moment are other servers that are running here in the room. I don't hear anything from that machine. Well, that's the benefit of 10 fans. Yay! Windows 7. Yes, that was the operating system when this machine came out. Many also used Windows 2003. Okay, it's not activated. Welcome to Windows 7. I just started Boink to make some CPU load and you see we have an E5640 Xeon Intel processor. That's a 4 core processor with no hyper threading. Oops, see. Four cores, four threads, not eight threads. Uh, it has a speed of 2.8 gigahertz and uh, 80 watts, and it's 100% uh, on the load. And that's how the system sounds when it is under 100% load. You can steer, still hear anything, nothing. All you hear are the other servers here in the room, nothing from that machine. Let's try the back side, maybe it's a little bit louder there. So that's where the power supply is, that's the CPU fans. Whisper quiet. And you also see Windows 7 was the original operating system this system was delivered with. That's why the sticker is here. Yeah, I think that's it. Pretty cool workstation from 2009. And since we still have customers who use this model, this is not going to scrap soon, so don't call me, I won't sell it, I won't give it away, and I definitely don't want to scrap it. Okay, thanks for watching.